Namaste. We have heard about different types of economies. The new buzzword that is going to rule the world post-COVID era is going to be low-touch economy. In this video, we'll be discussing about the aspects of low-touch economy and how is it going to impact the human as well as the consumer behavior. So, we have already seen that this during the lockdown period, we have seen a lot of uh, new rules that is coming up and that is being removed. For example, we have we have seen new rules like limited gathering, travel restrictions, the new hygiene requirements that is coming up and the need for protecting the vulnerable group that is the children as well as the people aged more than 65. Now, at the same time, the new habits that has been that has been developed is going to stick on for a longer period of time, like remote working, mixed work life balance. People are finding it difficult to work from home at the same time, manage the work whole course, because before it was like work life as well as uh, the home uh, was separated. But now, since both are mixed, it's going to be difficult to draw a line between both of them. Now, access to e-commerce and logistics and e-health are going to sprout uh, much more, much more to a greater extent in the coming days. Now, the second order effects of these uh, frontline activities are going to be much more shock shocking, like one third of the global population is going to be in some sort of lockdown or a temporary lockdown. And uh, we are or the world uh, is expecting massive unemployment rates that be followed by mass bankruptcies, bailouts, etc. It's going to be a reality in some way or the other. Little scary, but let's hope it, it does not impact in a greater sense. Now, something like geopolitics. We have heard about uh, globalization, localization and all. Now, what is geopolitics? Now, with the borders being closed, and the new laws are fueled by existing xenophobia. What do you mean by xenophobia? It's like fear of strangers and populism. Populism is like the poor or the middle class or underprivileged are getting the feeling like they are not being heard by the elite or the so-called people who are deciding their future. So geopolitics is also something that is going to affect or going to come out in huge um, numbers. So um, on this uh, aspect, let's focus on the expected shifts in the consumer as well as the human behavior. Now, we have already seen there are, there is a small shift that was happening. Now, that shift is going to be much more faster. Now, the acceleration uh, of these um, research and development on these areas are going to be in a much more faster rate. Now, F1 has switched to e-sports, online sports with real drivers in them. Now, police in um, China has devised with something like an infrared helmet that can detect the virus infected people. And uh, a loft hotel in Detroit has come out with indoor door delivery robots. So this kind of innovation is going to be much more prevalent in a much more accelerated passion. We'll focus on the 10 different uh, shifts that is focusing on happening on the human behavior post COVID era. Now, the first shift that is going to impact is anxiousness, loneliness and depression. People will be feeling more anxious about their future, their job, and that is whether they are they, they may get confronted with sickness about the relationship issues. So what could be expected is like, uh, there will be tremendous need for remote therapy and coaching. Now, the demand for pets is also increasing because that, that could alleviate their uh, loneliness and people might turn a little bit into farming and all sort of stuff. And uh, there are a lot of people in order to avoid their boredom going to online gaming, especially those games where they can chat and interact with people like House Party, Discord and a little bit of PUBG where they can you can talk to people around as well as Ludo games, where there are a lot of social interactions happening. So the second uh, shift that is expected is damage trust in hygiene of people and products. People are very suspicious whether the people with like xenophobia, they are, uh, they are, they are, they are scared if the people they are interacting with is safe and hygienic and not having the virus infection. Now, there is a food delivery in China even shows the real time temperature of the uh, the delivery boy who is coming. So it even shows a real time picture of the person um, if he is infected or not. So what is to be expected is 
this can uh, this can revamp the packaging redesigns and sharing of personal health records that is real time personal health records to in order to show their uh, hygiene status now third shift that can that is going to affect is extended travel restrictions within a country now travel industry is one of the industry that is going to be highly impacted because of this uh, covid era now so what can be expected is the local tourism might flourish or will flourish traveling abroad <laughs> you should even think about the quarantine period as the traveling time also now um the taking a period off into some rural areas that could be clubbed with their workforce like rural and remote taking their work into a rural area where they can do their work and enjoy the scenery could be something like a big luxury uh, in this post covid era and the fourth shift could be uh, the work home relationship work from home that is the optimized work from home setups beyond typical office jobs now in prior area in before time we could we could at least work go to office work during the work hours and then come home and spend our quality time but now that border line of um work a uh, work life balance is getting demolished when people are working from home so what can be expected is like people will bring in special equipments machines and advanced video setup to accommodate this change and uh, maybe new policies and new insurances might sprout in this particular area also now the rising of tension and conflict at all levels is the next shift that is going to impact now law and order will be seen mostly happening online and uh, more tools and automated legal work is going to sprout to a greater extent a scary fact is a next shift that is the unprecedented levels of global unemployment now what is to be expected is you can find lot of reskilling and training which is going to be a very it's going to see it's going to be witnessed in a huge humongous effort at the same time people will find that um more more appealing or they might switch to entrepreneurships to a, to a small small entrepreneurships and uh, so that they can boost their family budget now both these options will bring valuable experience once the economy catches back so for a short period of time this is going to rule now the next shift is going to be the take out or home delivery of everything so there could be new uh, ideas that going to come up in home delivery like you know specialized home delivery solutions like drop off points for frozen cold food or something and more advanced and uh, more sophisticated supply chain op or, or optimizations for example there is multiple shops bundling deliveries to the same household or street so these could be so the people doesn't move out much more frequently and they try to do everything from their home and uh, low tech economy is going to rule like that the biggest shift or one of the most vulnerable society is going to be the aged people so limit contact with the old generations and uh, you can see a public gathering which is devoid of these vulnerable or the weaker parts of the society and uh, this might uh, prolong for another a few years of time so the next shift the ninth shift is going to be like something like our identity is more than our job so um nowadays when you do uh, a video conferencing or a con call the the people out there are going to see your family your your bedrooms your dining areas where you sit and call so maybe uh, your colleagues are going to know you much more better so uh, maybe that is our identity is going to be something that is going to be very very virtual now a fashion is not about our dresses it's it may be about the virtual room maybe you are seeing me so um you are going to assess me not by uh, the way i look and the dress i wear maybe about the environment of this particular studio how i speak so all those are uh, identity is going to be uh, more than our job in our coming area in the coming post covid era and the last shift is the value of certified immune consumers now if your business model is something related to uh, a 
packed like you know um, um, where many people are gathering like about whether it is an entertainment business or cruises or about events or festivals then um, it might take a little bit more time so that we can catch up on this particular thing so what is going to be seen in the in, in the near future could be something like solo dining you no know, it just could be an example solo dining booths or human free interactions or robot waiters as we saw in the in the hotel in detroit so that is what is that has been coming up in the uh, certified human consumers parlance now so based on these human uh, human behavioral changes so how these industries are impacted with the covid era the if you look into this particular analysis that has been released by the board of uh, innovation.com we could see that uh, industries are divided into seven different sectors where uh, the highly impacted industry is going to be tourism and hospitality followed by sports and music moderately affected would be automotive beverages and retail and the least affected is the pharmaceutical industry so on this offset what could be the future now we should set up our new economic growth initiative based on four different strategies like you have to first of all assess the impact of uh, the low touch economy in your area whichever area of your business that you are focusing on you have to assess like how the new touch economy is going to impact your area develop a new strategy incorporating the uh, low touch economy come out with some uh, core competencies that can really make your business much more uh, effective in this post covid era and uh, rather than going on offensive like develop a new opportunity and try to make it happen give as an add on with your product so these are the different things that being an uh, being being into business that we should focus on as a tip on the iceberg we have seen that human bind has special gift of surpassing hurdles we have seen world wars we have seen earthquakes we have seen floods and we have seen even bigger pandemics but we have never failed we shall overcome and we will overcome thank you very much